Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you'll find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Trade Guide videos and I'll talk about the leaked news about Scotia Bank Gold American Express credit card. If this is your first time, on this channel I do travel videos, credit card videos and videos and points and viewers and some other videos and all my videos are non-affiliated, unbiased and honest. In case you haven't noticed already, the videos or reviews you're watching online, 99% of them are affiliated and they're working for the credit card companies. So the articles or credit card reviews you're reading actually are affiliated and you're not going to get honest and unbiased opinion of those sites. So for that reason, uh, my reviews and my credit card videos are totally honest and what I can tell you, no one will be able to tell you because you know they're working for those credit card companies. So if you'd like to show your appreciation, you can like this video or if you don't like the video you can dislike the video or you can subscribe to my channel and that would be highly appreciated there were rumors or leaked news uh, which uh, you'll be able to find if you search on google uh, scotia bank by putting scotia bank gold mx upcoming changes and sites like uh, red flag deals or uh, reddit so they have posted some of the leaked news so from this point, what I'm going to uh, talk about the Scotia Bank Gold American Express, I uh, picked up the information from uh, these sites and this is not certain yet that whether these changes are really taking place or this is just like, you know, not true. So assuming that uh, these uh, changes are taking place, I'm going to uh, give my opinion and do a brief review on the Scotia Bank Gold American Express freight card. If you have been watching my channel, you know that I published a video about uh, TD banks are not uh, being innovative on their travel credit cards, uh, which I published about a week or two ago. I'll provide a link uh, to that video in the description box below. So if uh, these uh, leaked news are true, then the screenshot you're looking at is uh, these are the changes that are coming to the Scotia Bank Gold American Express card. And this is another example how Scotia Bank is uh, being innovative or how Scotia Bank is trying to capture a significant portion of the credit card market by being innovative and giving us more and added new benefits to their credit cards. We have seen the Scotia Visa Passport uh, Infinite Credit Card, which had uh, no foreign transaction, uh, foreign currency transaction fee, uh, had lounge access, had Visa Infinite Concierge. So now uh, the Scotia Bank is going through some changes and this card is going to be in direct competition with the uh, American Express Cobalt credit card. So let's look at these changes. Uh, what are these changes and how it's going to affect us? So according to the leaked news, the changes are going to be effective August 1st, uh, 2019. So the annual fee is going to be $120 from $99 and the additional fee is $29 which is not going to change so the most significant change is going to be the reward structure so for example right now you earn four times on gas grocery dining and entertainment and this is going to be five times and right now everything else is one percent and starting uh, after the change is going to be three times on gas uh, daily transit and some streaming services uh, which could be Netflix or other streaming services and everything else is 1% so this 5% category is in direct competition with the uh, American Express Cobalt credit card and many of uh, the Cobalt card holders might like uh, Scotiabank Gold American Express more than Cobalt card and uh, they might be changing to this card uh, due to the fact that this card is eliminating foreign currency conversion fee which is 2.5 percent so if you have the cobalt credit card whenever you're making a transaction in foreign countries or any other currency than canadian then you'd be paying uh you're going to be paying 2.5 percent foreign currency conversion fee and this uh, american express gold credit card is going to be eliminating eliminating uh, the foreign transaction fee so 
for lots of uh, COBOL card holders, that's an added benefit to switch into the Scotia Bank Gold American Express trade card because it's giving you the same uh, five times returns on uh, these categories grocery, dining, and entertainment. But it's also giving zero foreign currency transaction fee after August 1st, which the American Express Cobalt credit card doesn't offer. And uh, also, this credit card has uh, concierge services. American Express Cobalt credit card does not provide any concierge services. And this card has lots of insurance benefit, which American Express Cobalt card does not have either. So, for, But some of the changes are coming to the insurance benefits as well. So looks like they're changing the 65 uh, age 65 or over from 10 days to 3 days and uh, they're not changing anything uh, for under 65 years of age which is staying at 24, uh, 25 days and uh, there are some reduced amount for trip cancellation at, and trip interruption and then other uh, travel insurances for example flight delay, delayed baggage, lost baggage and travel accident there are no changes including hotel motel burglary and purchase security or purchase uh, or extended warranty is not changing but other uh, change I can see that you know the price protection or what basically means that you know if you find something at a lower price within the first 60 days then if you claim this insurance uh, if you used your card the Scotia card to buy that merchant that the product and if you use this insurance then you're going to get a difference uh, up to uh, $100 per item and up to a maximum of $500 so for this card uh, that insurance is, is being eliminated and it will no longer be available after the change. The price protection may not be a big deal for lots of uh, customers but uh, what I can tell you is that the 0% foreign currency transaction fee and the five times uh, multiplier on these categories grocery dining and entertainment and definitely is a game changer for the Canadian credit card market and then also it's giving three percent uh, three times uh, points on gas daily transit and other and select streaming service the one thing you cannot do with the Scotia rewards points is that uh, you cannot convert it to any other uh, points like American Express Cobalt uh, which allows you to convert to uh, Bonvoy or Marriott points and then you can eventually change it to other uh, airline points for example Aeroplan, British Airways or other uh, airline partners which are partnered with uh, Bonvoy or Marriott chain but for Scotia reverse points it's just like works like you know cash back so uh, offset travel purchases using your points or you can use your points directly to purchase travel uh, items so that's the difference uh, the changes are mostly uh, positive I don't I wouldn't say that these changes are negative although some of the benefits and uh, some of the categories are decreasing and the annual fees going up but even with that uh, the most important things that no foreign currency transaction fee and then you're going to get five times and three times on those specific categories so until now Cobalt American Express was the only credit card which was giving five times return on uh, grocery eat uh, categories now we have another credit card so this is going to be in direct competition with American Express Cobalt credit card and if you look at some of the features it's actually giving you more than American Express uh, Cobalt credit card so the Cobalt credit card owners uh, will have to make a decision eventually whether you know you'd like to stick to Cobalt or you'd like to switch to a Scotia Bank Gold American Express. I do have a Cobalt credit card uh, and I haven't made any decision yet and if uh, the rumor or leaked news are certainly true then I'm gonna have to you know make a decision after August 1st whether to stick to Cobalt card for those five times categories or should I be switching to a Scotia Bank Gold American Express credit card. Another advantage uh, American Express Cobalt Credit Card has is, is that it doesn't charge uh, anything for additional uh, credit card holder, but uh, Scotia Bank Gold American Express charges $29 for additional credit card holder. So that's something to look at. So that's all I wanted to talk about. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because there will be a lot more credit card and travel videos coming up. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you.